Gene Roddenberry's vision for the future had to do with mankind being at a, at a better place. Uh, he felt that wars and poverty and sickness were all things that were over with and that man could uh, spend his time seeking a better quality of life. Uh, he saw human beings as being beyond petty, um, petty arguments, uh, which made things quite difficult because in, when you're writing drama, you, you want conflict. And Gene didn't want conflict within the core characters of the show, so it had to come from outside. So that was probably the biggest rule and the hardest rule for, for the writing staff. We also had to follow two, two separate rules of science, the, the real rules of science, to, to whatever degree we could follow them, and the fictitious rules of science that had been set up by Star Trek, by the original series and by uh, however much of the new series had come before. Um, and it was, it was very interesting because we had people uh, working with us who were really experts at science and who would help us with things. But then there was, you know, the th things like transporters and warp speed and photon torpedoes and all these things that don't exist, but that still had a set of rules attached to it. So it was a it was a continual challenge, and it was very often very difficult to have to go back to the writers to say you can't do this, when in fact they were doing something that seemed perfectly reasonable considering how much stuff within the show was just made up. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that so many of the fans would certainly catch it if, some, if a rule was broken. Um, yeah, we once had a uh, phaser come out of photon torpedo port uh, in a visual effect. And I certainly didn't know the difference. And we got hundreds of letters, hundreds.